welcome to Sanctuary Sanct Sanct TV. I am your host, B. Sanctuary Sanct Sanct TV is brought to you courtesy of First Ave Entertainment. Today, we have the pleasure of being here in Little Haiti. We're at Little Haiti's Mashe Aysan, the Caribbean marketplace. Today, we have the pleasure of being at Art Beat Miami. This is the Caribbean Chef Celebrity Brunch Edition. We have an excellent show lined up for you today. If you have want more information about Sanctuary Sanct TV, please feel free to log on to www.sanctuarysancttv.com. You can also find more information on us on Instagram at Sanctuary Sanct TV. Again, I'm your host, B. You can find me on Instagram at B Longchamp. Stick and stay, we are killing it in Art Miami. Welcome back to Sanctuary Sanct TV, and we are here with art extraordinaire, Tia. Hi, how are you? I'm good, and yourself? Good, thank I love you. the festive colors you have on and how yes. you're blending in. We're here at Little Haiti's Masha Isia, the Caribbean marketplace, mm -hmm. and you're blending well with the festivities. Yes, it's, it's happiness, it's joy. Yes. It's, yes. Thank you it's so art. much. It is art. <laughs> Thank you so much for spending time with us. Mm -hmm. And we know that this is Art Basel Week and your production and what you're bringing into the art well is what type of art? It's abstract. Abstract, abstract. art. Mm -hmm. So out of all the art forms you could have chosen, why abstract art? Well, abstract gives you uh, uh, liberty of doing what you feel. It's not putting two words. You can, there's certain things that you feel and there's no words that you can translate, that helps you to translate it. Right. So art gives you, I mean, abstraction Abstract. gives you the opportunity to put that feelings into a canvas. Love it. So when you're doing abstract art, what what got you started into it? I know everyone has a story. So what, yes. what is your story? Well, my story is um, on January 12th. I lost my mother and a few friends. Oh wow! And then um, after that, that I had a snap, uh, like a wake-up call. Like uh, uh, I was, would you say that in in Creole, would they click? Right. Fed, and I had this urge to create. I didn't know what it was at the beginning, but after that, it became um, painting. Wow! So is it therapeutic? Some no, sort? no, no. It was that that urge, that desire to create. So and you've never done it before. Um, no, I, I used to dance. Ah. Um, I'm a dancer. Okay. But that part I didn't know about. Wow. So yes. how has the public received your artistry? Um, the, very, very well. Very yeah. well. Um, but I still have a lot, a long way to go. Okay. A lot to do. <laughs> so is there like some sort of training that you attend or is it all soulfully just, you just transition from whatever it is internally, internally. to the brush? Well, at the beginning you're scared and you mm -hmm. don't want you you don't want because the, the this world is very challenging. Mm -hmm. So um, you start with um, drawing and then you go to um, charcoal and then 
abstract or oh, not abstract um acrylic and other things nice and then from there you do your research and then your practice is work 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 all the time nice mm -hmm. so has there been any situation where you've been on the canvas you know doing your thing and then all of a sudden there's a something that deters you to say no I'm that's not on doing water it. of course all the yeah. time yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what do you time. do in that moment do you have any you put white paint and you start ah, over again. Really? Yeah, all the time. Oh, okay, all okay. <laughs> so in schools, unfortunately, a lot of schools are doing away with art mm -hmm. because of budgeting purposes and other people's own hidden agendas. Mm -hmm. So what do you say to you know parents who have their kids who are very artistic and they don't have the capabilities of transitioning into doing it in school? What what would you what advice would you give them? Buy them stuff. Buy them aquarel or acrylic yes. give them papers let them express themselves because it's your white the, your right brain yeah. that is really functioning and we don't use that a lot yeah and that part is very helpful it is especially when you have uh, intro kid yes they don't express themselves yeah, the verbally. introverted kids exactly. right right so using art is the best way for that child to express himself I love it yes and in our culture all the time well I wouldn't say all the time but it's not it's not embraced yes it's the not, arts is not embraced not go embraced. find your real job yeah. you know. it's not easy it's yeah. not an easy route mm -hmm. but it's a choice mm -hmm. and if you focus well I'm not saying that you're gonna get there but focus and work 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 yeah, and yeah. that's so who do you look up to in the art industry Ooh, I look up to the old guys yeah. like Miro, okay. like uh, Soulange, like Soulage. I mean, mm. like um, I have a few back home, which is Moyo Benjamin, um, Pasco, and Kili. You're schooling me right now. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> these guys are the top, and oh, nice. um, I look up to them. Yeah. Nice. So, where can we contact you for more information as far as your art is concerned? How can we pour into your artistry? I have a, I have a Instagram account which is Tiaz dot Cesar and I have a Facebook account which is Tiaz and you can contact me from there. Love it, you guys! Don't just sure. look at the art and say, "Oh, this is beautiful, this, this is inspiring. beautiful," but also then, purchase yes, the purchase art while we're still alive. While we're still Not alive, when yes. we're dead. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much for Thanks. spending time it's, with us here it's at Sanctuary. It's a Sanctus pleasure. Sank. Thank you for having me. Thanks to Sank, we'll be back. Healthcare workers and nurses are in high demand. Take your first step toward a medical career today at Ideal Professional Institute in Miami Gardens. With multiple programs available, you can become a patient care technician in just nine months, a home health aide in under one month, an LPN in just a year. Ideal Professional Institute is licensed by the state of Florida. So register now. Call 305-653-7886. Sink to sink. Music is life. Yeah, yeah. Voice to the man just on reach and on to the world. I'm take banana. We're back. I'm your host, B, and we are here with Mixo Mishu. Nice to meet you, everyone. Nice to meet, nice to meet, you. To meet you, Bea. I love, I love your, your energy. Oh, love the thanks. hair. So, Mixo. So, why is it Mixo? Well, Mixo is short for mixologist. Ah. And basically, that's what I, one of the many talents that I bear. And uh, I was represented by Herodura Tequila last night. Nice. To spice it up. It spice it up Miami, the ah. fifth annual, fifth, fifth year on the scene at Art Basel. 
and uh, it was great. We did the uh, Triple H, which was the Haitian Herradura mm. happening cocktail. Love you know? that. So okay, what great. is that? What is that? Well, it was also the Haitian hibiscus Herradura. So ah. hibiscus being the national flower of it Haiti. Is. Uh, we did a nice uh, syrup with that, a sour mix, and we incorporated that with the Herradura tequila, nice. which was the uh, Ultra Añejo, mm. and uh, we did an amazing cocktail. You, you know, know what it. you're talking about. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, I know what I say. I yes. know my I know my drinks. Yes. What What do you? Okay. This is so off the record. So I'm going on a tangent a little bit. Mm -hmm. As far as tequila is concerned, because tequila does me wrong. What do you do to offset that like aftertaste? Or is well, it just you know, me? I don't think it's you. Okay. You know, it's an acquired taste. As, okay. as we say in, uh, as us Haitians and Latinos say, you know, it's an especial it taste. It is. It is. Um, however, you know, the same way with Barbancourt, our national rum. Right. You know, you could do more with Barbancourt, as you could do more with Herradura. Yes. Uh, it's all about what you mix it up with, the concoctions, or right. your sour mix. You know? ah, it's also about your it. preference. Right. You know, everybody knows about tequila and the lime. Right. You know, right. you lick the salt. You right. drink the shot, and then you, you squeeze the, the lime, lime, and you put it in your mouth. Right, you right, know? right. So um, a lot of people are into that. Okay. But uh, for the most part, you know, there are a lot of things that you could do to uh, uh, accentuate or ameliorate mm -hmm. a spirit that maybe you're not used to. Gotcha. But there's so much more than mixology. Not to say that that's not important. That is very much so important. You also are into tourism or hospitality? Well, I opened uh, the International Marriott in nice. Haiti, That's in Tsujou, Port Prince. Uh, yes. uh, and uh, myself and my colleague, Chef Kiki Dupou, we were the food and beverage uh, team. Uh, she was executive chef for a moment. And we basically trained staff that wouldn't have had the opportunity to even find a situation, a position, employment in a hotel with standards such as such as the standards I of Marriott. And we basically were searching to empower them with the help of a good friend uh, and of course the general manager at the time, Peter Antonoff. He went searching in the camps for people that would never even think that they could explore the possibility of working in a hotel. I love it. They were trained and they were glorified and they were empowered and you know, I think they're only uh, evolving at this point. And that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Like taking your education and saying, okay, you know what, how can I give back? How can I live my purposeful life? And I love right, it. Right, I I did, right. I didn't really expect to, uh, you know, I'm a musician. I've been a musician all my life. Look, I'm, you're I'm just so well-rounded. Well, you know, I'm a Haitian New Yorker. I love it. I got mad flavor. Hustle. Yes. You know, I got yes. mad flavor and mad skills. <laughs> so, and plus, you know, I'm no newcomer. I'm, pre I'm pretty much, uh, what is that? Uh, OG. Yeah, you're OG. You're very yeah. seasoned. Yeah, no doubt. Ah. But um, you never expect that your life and your experiences are going to take you into different directions. All I knew is that when I got to Haiti, I survived the earthquake. Nice. It was about time to help uplift our people, whereas they could interact socially in an environment of food and beverage service, you know, they could look at someone in the eye and want to serve you and say, hey, how you doing? Right. Welcome. What can I offer you? Become a par part of the party yeah. as opposed to, you know, uncomfort, discomfort because right. they're not really used to your lifestyle, your culture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they were able to absorb and learn and evolve and that's the beauty it. of it all and that which I never expected to experience. That's a key point that you added too about the the eye contact thing because so our culture Yeah, because you know it's so a it's a colonial downtrodden yeah. uh, right. and basically we have to pull them out of that and remind them that they're so beautiful. Yes. They're all beautiful. Yes. They're all reflections of us, of you. Yeah. And you know, once because everybody says, you know, Every time I see a Haitian person, they always got to squinch. Right, right. They always got to look like, yeah, they're looking like their face is looking up to the sun. Right. And they're smiling. Right. But the minute you say, bonjour, bonsoir, qui j'en ai, Right. Smile lights up. lights up, right? And that's our life. That's yeah. our Haitian people. That's you and I. That's, that's and thank our Thank you narrative. for having me. Thank you so much. But where can we contact you for more information? Thanks, you'll sink. You'll find out. You know, you just call the Shushu Bat, yeah. bat oh. Line. Oh, that Shushu Line. Shushu. Yes, the Shushu Line. <laughs> yeah, you know, you'll get all the information. So bit. hit us up. You'll get but the yeah, information. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you so You're much. Very too. welcome. It's been a pleasure. Haitian beauty sisters yeah. in the house. Yes, we are. Yes. We'll be back. Thanks to sink. Thank you.
Mixed and Sync family, we are back. We are here with Oliga. Hi. Oliga, it's so nice for you to be with us today during this Art Festive week. And I know that you have a different type of art that you do. You do what it's called? Yeah, I do like some mixed media. Mixed so, uh, media. My background is from, uh, from graffiti and street art. And I do also some painting and digital art. So uh, on my work, it's like a, a mix of, uh, of street art and, uh, and uh, traditional painting. So love it. And uh, it's it's a really it's a really good vibe because I can be myself and uh, I express like uh, also some uh, some part of my Haitian culture yes. and uh, and different things like uh, that surround me every day. So originally, did you start out with graffiti first, or did you automatically start out with mixed media? Did you start off with one and then merge it together? I started like uh, I grew up like in an art environment. My dad was an artist, but uh, later in uh, in my in school, I got I got to know like graffiti, mm -hmm. and uh, and also like uh, later I went to a fine art school. Okay. So this made me uh, at the end make make a mix of uh, all all this mm -hmm. in my in my art. Where I can be also the, the graffiti artist, but I also the fine art painter. Ah. So it makes my my style more contemporary, and uh, I express like uh, vibrant colors I and see it. Wo uh, words, and uh, like uh, like you tagging or. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, when you originally started graffiti, did you do it like street, like on the walls or everything, or you just stuck to the canvas? Usually, I, I do like from from uh, from my from my sketchbook to uh, ah. to a wall. Okay. And when I when I do a wall, like I, I express like I I think I, I'm more like a street artist. I express like uh, my fine art on the wall mm -hmm. with the graffiti techniques. Got you, got so, you. Yeah, I saw the one um, you showed me two so far. Yeah, I show you two pieces. Yeah, one of them with the afro. Yeah, exactly. Ah. It's uh, I got two pieces inside, and uh, and both of them are, are so expressive, and they show like uh, elements of Asian culture, and also like um, they both like uh, they both like uh, are expressive, like uh, because I, I do in, in a pop art, but I, I I put my black features on on, on my it. pop art, so I can say it's an Afro pop art uh, with like uh, Asian features. Right, right, right. And, uh, and the and words so that you use too. The words I, I use, I use like queer words right. and uh, words that are common to to Haitians. And also, I, I, I express a message of uh, of uh, happiness, love, and and, and positivity. Right, because so, the colors that you use are very exactly. bright so colors. I like with my heart, like bringing happiness and and uh, keeping people together, and uh, and also, you know bring change they want me I love it I love the spirit and I love the fact that you put a message behind your pieces where can we contact you as far as purchasing your pieces or pouring into your artistry so if you want to reach me out uh, you can follow me on Instagram it's uh, oligots o-l-i-g-a-r-t-s and uh, also you can check out my website oligots.com and uh, I have two pieces inside at Art Beat Miami so you can uh, you can come and, uh, and, and enjoy the show and um, and also uh, check if you if you like you can purchase inside or get in touch with me directly. That's right. Thank you so much, Aliga, for taking time out and talking to us here at Sinks to Sink TV. Thank you, Sinks to Sink TV. We'll be back. Sink. Music is life. Yeah, yeah. Move it, move it. Voice to We're back. I'm your host, B, and we are here with BIC as well as Renette. We're going to speak a little bit of Kringlish, <laughs> all right? So that's the Creole mixed with the English, okay? So, BIC, you started off in Haiti, right? You're based in Haiti, and yeah. you do alternative music, which is a big deal, right? That is not 
are such big deal it's not. <laughs> because we have a lot of Asians who are doing world beat music and alternative music, and I'm I just it. one of them. I love it. So when you say alternative music, what specifically are you referencing? It is a mix, a, a, a melting pot. Mm -hmm. You have reggae, you have ah. hip hop. You blend all this together, okay. and it gives you another flavor. So it's almost like roots, right? Like you beat the drums. Not exactly. You have a yeah. lot of drums. Uh -huh. You have the beat, the hip hop uh -huh. beat, and right. also you have the drums that come in. Uh -huh. You have rock guitar and nice. And so on. Yeah. Nice. And yeah. you, if you, you remember, you chant in a group, no? No, 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 no. We're not say on artist solo. Artist solo. Qui vini représente Haiti, bon, na communauté haïtienne. Hot beat, c'est un plaisir pour moi de là et participer, échanger avec nous. C'est même catégorie de musique que nous faisons, musique alternative. Donc, à la base, c'est la musique traditionnelle que nous mettons de côté, surtout en Haïti et nostalgie, site que nous kagen pour jouer musique authentique, la originale, là peut-être. Nous vini porter bon ici, c'est avec une couleur locale que nous nous connais. Oh, moi même ça, parce que moi même, moi quand zouk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. But alternative music now is yeah. a little bit like I'm not really used to hearing yeah, alternative music in, oh, right. in our in our culture. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, c'est parce que peut-être que non. Comme nous ici, nous là l'étranger, il y a plus vingt compare. Et oui. c'est normal mm -hmm. parce que c'est musique de base, non? Oui. Ouais, donc c'est pour ça au par rapport compte que nous grand pilote artiste qui a fait l'autre qualité de musique. Oui. Mais vraiment nous gagne vraiment un pilote artiste qui représente Haïti à l'étranger dans bon festival. Et surtout avec catégorie de musique, musique c'est musique alternative parce que les rappeler côté bastion. Chaque chaque pays gagne musique par qui identifie. Nous même nous compaquet avec compa mais nous gagne sans un rythme encore que nous ca exploiter et à l'étranger y a jeune pour porter au bayo avec histoire Haïti qui sont pays première république noire mon y a tant pour expliquer ça dans musique et à travers BIC qui font travail d'éducation qui sont paroliers météo en chanson moi même qui reprendre certains morceaux de musique traditionnelle et créer tout sur musique traditionnelle donc c'est ça à l'étranger vraiment nous trouver qui continuer vendre malgré tout tout ça que Haïti ca gagne comme originalité Ah, when I've got the old people wear shenu and so like like we men we men art right so wear shenu and so I mean it's on shenu que vous êtes pas le ça ici vraiment non ce sont les jeunes yeah yeah so so not from gold gold um by IT parce que n'a éduqué mon n'a éduqué la musique new york c'est ça parce que gain gain en décadence depuis quelque temps la musique mais c'est pas nous pour changer mais nous dit pour qui ça nous pas faire travail là et montrer que nous gain propre musique pas nous parce que nous envahi par à culture là en Haïti musique sorti tout côté surtout afro afro pas un problème parce que nous gagnons mais c'est qui couleur pour le vendre et qui message pour le vendre la donne donc nous même nous toujours été nous café afro tout comme nous ne doit pas café afro parce que nous voulons mais nous vendre culture la caille nous nous éduquer mon yo continuer parler mon yo que ou gon histoire ou gain musique pas ou qu'arrêter au même pendant que ou ouvert avec tout ça qu'a fait dans mode là so là nous n'a fait musique nous on connaît gain gain différents différents sujets nous capable Nous capable de présenter, right? Mm -hmm. So, l'un a fait musique. Est-ce que nous jambes vins sur un sujet que Platzi, oh non, bah il met ça, pas parler de ça, parce que nous connais Haïti, nous 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 sommes un petit genre féminin, mm -hmm. quel sujet, right? right? Mm -hmm. Like okay. sujet oh. sex. Nous bah non, nous bah sous, nous nous bah parler sous ça, nous bah mm -hmm. parler sous sujet mental, mental health, parce que je dis ça non. Non, mm -hmm. mais ça nous connaît. En tout cas, pour qualité artistique, nous avons, yeah, qualité artistique nous avons. Nous traiter des sujets que que nous dit nous pour nous traiter. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, Déjà, c'est dit que okay. environnement nous ça qui concerne nous ça nous qui est important pour nous faire éducation sur lui. Mm -hmm. Effectivement, monde là pas qu'à vivre sans sexe. Peut-être right. que nous pas traiter sexe de façon vulgaire, mais nous traiter l'amour. Right. Et comme right. non right. cas fou l'amour à sexe bon côté yo rencontré. Donc right. oui, mais en réalité ça primordial pour nous c'est le social. Mm -hmm. okay. C'est 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 problème culture pays a problème politique que pays a qui traverse en dans et texte mayo et texte net c'est et quelque part nous parler nous éduquer mon yo parce que j'en ai pas éduqué en permettre que yo gain mieux idée sur Euh, campagne qu'on fait contre qu le monde qui fait sexe sans, sans contrôler protection, sans protection yeah, yeah. nous nous c'est des artistes qui travaillent dans nice. sens ça nous fait musique pour ça pour nous expliquer comment nous mais comment pour protéger ou quoi que ce soit nous avons un problème à parler de ça mais est-ce que dans la musique nous est-ce que c'est ça qui prime non non, non. Voilà. Ah, ok all right so côté pour nous joindre une information nous si nous besoin contacter nous pour plus d'informations pour nous battre nos supports côté nous joindre information ok moi même c'est sur internet là c'est big tison diffé B I C T I Z O N D I F E ça c'est pour page Facebook moi mon compte Twitter qui c'est Big Tison Diffé again B I C T I Z O N D I F E donc sur Instagram c'est Big Tison Diffé 1 Diffé as in 
Ah, as in fire. Ah, okay. <laughs> Moi-même, c'est Renette Désir que nous connaissons avec Yann Valou, qui était figuré sur le premier album avec Rélé en jour. Il y a tout sur iTunes, Spotify, sur tout réseau. Yo. Nous avons un deuxième album qui fait que ce titre est Haïti, pas péri. Donc, sur tout réseau, des pour besoin de Renette Désir, de pour ouvrir pas ça, pas capable de Renette Désir. Ah, thank you, thank you for the love. Thank, thank you so you, much for the energy. You. I love it. You, you, thank you. Thank you. We'll be that back. was B, that yeah. was B, I C, that was when it did. We're out. We are out. <laughs> <laughs>
et haïtien à travers, à travers mes œuvres. Mais de 2005 jusqu'à aujourd'hui, je viens de mon autre orientation qui c'est travailler dans l'idée pour faire des revendications, utiliser l'art, utiliser le fonds intérieur moi, à travers le travail moi, pour me faire pour me parler, pour ça ne pas parler. Oui. Parce qu'on parce qu n'est pas sans savoir, parce qu'en Haïti, il y a un paquet de troupes politiques, oui. ouais, sous toute forme, et il y a une disparité sociale sous toute forme, okay. disparité économique, disparité d'éducation, et, 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 disparité l'hôpital, santé, oui. tout le bagage. Ça veut dire qu'on peut être malade dans tout le col. Et par rapport avec toute dynamique, ça, qui est le premier FVM de fait, qui est le résistant, qui pense à lui, qui met en relief les dégâts causés par la ministre en Haïti. Et, et, et notamment dans le départ de la ministre, c'est ça nous a fait, elle a représenté symboliquement, après Gézosman, Gézosman en bas, en bas casque bleu, à son haïtien, qui levait mes doigts en l'air, mes gauches en l'air, les plantait, drapeau couleur nationale là, sous casque bleu, pendant pied, 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 pied gauche, les sous casque là. Et ah. en bas casque là, après Gézosman, les gens qui mourent, les âmes, ce sont des vraiment qui sont très touchants. Et je vais être pour mission ça. Après, je vais faire. Et depuis l'homme d'après nous, une deuxième pièce, qui c'est le révolutionnaire. Le révolutionnaire, son œuvre, sur les réseaux sur les sociaux, là, pour après, un petit tour qui pointe le doigt, qui n'a pas qu'à être de l'homme, ou un médaille, même, qui n'a pas qu'à être de l'homme, et qui n'a pas qu'à être de l'homme, qui dit, Haïti, tout le monde doit avoir la même chance, tout le monde doit avoir le même droit, le commissaire gouvernement va avoir le cimetière pauvre. Oui, des bagages forts, oui, ça m'a dit là. Et il y a un paquet de codes, oui, ça m'a dit là, l'idée pour qu'il symbolise la justice et qu'il symbolise la surtout Parce que dans le temps, on utilise les codes pour torturer les gens. Et même quand ça, sur le plan symbolique, il y a torturé les pays ici, on même utilise les codes qui sont justice. Parce que je pense que tout pays qui a justice, tout pays côté l'État, on est capable de la justice, bah, le temps, le pays, ça y est, après, il y a plus ou moins un petit équilibre social, même si l'équilibre social n'a pas existé. De manière générale, ça va de l'eau, je veux un qui est intelligent que l'autre, je veux un qui est remet travail que l'autre, je veux un qui pas réussi. Mais l'État crée un équilibre pour permettre tout le monde. Même chance. Même chance, tout le monde qui travaille, tout le monde qui doit la santé, tout le monde qui doit l'éducation, etc. Bon, c'est le travail qui est en train de faire ça. Même je dis, on a admis Miami, on a fait une proposition pour me devine faire une autre revendicative. Ah, oui, ouais, mais ça. Une revendicative là, pour après là, c'est un petit monde. C'est un petit monde qui est vertu de, de couleur nationale là, et qui est jouée le bandé avec le drapeau, drapeau américain, hein, et qui est revendicatif qui est contre le même tout. Je pense que c'est un petit titre, sans titre, côté que chaque monde qui, 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 qui a venu, qui a gardé l'œuvre là, soit dans les réseaux sociaux, là, qui a gardé le titre, suivant la compréhension. Parce que c'est ça. Ok, so, quand nous avons besoin plus d'informations pour nous supporter ou pour nous parler Bon, euh, pour nous regarder là et nous et, et, et écouter, les informations sont sur toutes les réseaux sociaux. Et nous avons checké sur so, euh, so, so, euh, Yahoo et Blanchard Création à Yahoo.fr. Et nous avons checké sur so, so, so WhatsApp 509 38 99 0028. 509 38 99 028 et vous avez un moto sur Josué Blanchard 80 à Josué Blanchard 80 sur Twitter euh, sur Instagram. Ok Blanchard, merci pour ton point avec nous here in 605 TV with the Korean English. Ok, <laughs> 605 TV c'est pour merci. I'm so proud, I'm so proud of you, I'm so proud of the Asian uh, living of America. I'm so proud of myself because I'm a Haitian. We like yeah, Haitian. Haitian. I'm a revolutionary. Yes. So, yeah. I love it, love it. Six to six, we'll be back. Okay, thank you. <laughs>
Way back in Sanctuary Sanct TV, I have the pleasure of speaking with Anik Duvivier. Hi, B. Celebrity brunch. Yes. And I'm live painting. Oh, I love it. Yes, so exciting. The pressure. Yeah, no, not really. I'm ah. used to having people around me. I'm nice. so happy to be here. Nice. I hope you can all join in. Yes. You see, you notice, you notice her gear, right? Yes, I have my apron she's, today, she's so in I don't. Full effect. So full effect. Get, you know, so drops, the type so of painting you said is figurative painting. Figurative painting. What exactly yes. does that mean? Well, it just has the human figure in it. Ah. Yes. Keep but it I'm simple. But I'm playing with with a lot of colors and a lot of drips and paint falling and that's why I'm mm. splashing everywhere today. So do you mess with um, different textures as well? Do you include that yes, in there? Yes, definitely. Ah, so yeah. what kind of textures are, are you somewhat well, it dabbling with? I have brushes and mm. I have rags and mm. I... So it depends. You never know what's going to come out. I can see how happy it makes you because every, with every move and every jerk, you're like smiling with it. Stop. What got you into painting? Well, I started very young yeah. and I studied fine arts. I'm studying visual arts. Nice. And I also went to um, Festival Arts where I was an artist in residence there. Nice. And I was studying under the art historian Maya Listea. So mm. I learned a lot about Haitian art and Haitian artists. Ooh. So I'm very excited. <laughs> we need that. We need more of that. I, I, I don't know. For some reason, like I go to different places that are supposed to be, you know, highlight the Caribbean. And mm -hmm. oftentimes you can tell the Haitian art from the other genres. Do Definitely. you particularly deal with that or, or are you more branching out as far as Haitian well, art is concerned? I am around it. I can okay. say that I have a specific because okay. I'm still I'm I'm still learning. Got you. So Got every you. time I learn something new, I have to incorporate it in my art. Love it, love it, love <laughs> it. So is it just on canvas? Well, these, day, these days it's on canvas, sometimes mm. it's on wood, sometimes mm. it's ceramic, so it's never the same. <laughs> love it, love it. So you don't keep yourself in a box? No, definitely not. So art, how do you keep art alive? There's so many people that's trying to new art, and it's not, it's subconsciously, like I don't, think, I don't think people are deliberately doing it, but they are, they're killing it. So how do you go ahead and say, you know what, no, I got to keep this well, bad boy I'm alive. live painting and I'm the only live painter today. Ah. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I also teach art. Love it. Yes. To youth? To youth. Love yes. it. I, I teach art to because, different Because, yeah, oh my gosh, because that's, that's, that's the issue that we're having in a lot of our public schools, yeah. especially in America. We're like taking the funding out of the arts and getting it into just plain academics. And I, myself, I'm not an artist, but I have a problem with that because <laughs> I, I feel like that creative side, we need to fuel that. Definitely. So what is it that you do as far as your students who say, oh, I can't paint, oh, I can't draw, I can't, I, I can't do this, I'm coloring outside well, the lines. we start with t teaching them about the shapes. Mm. Like you say, you're going to do a face, you're going to do a whole face. So you don't show them how to do the features, you show them shapes. The, the basic foundation, yes, the exactly. fundamental. Ah, I love it, and love they it. I love that because, you know, your nose has a triangle, so you can do anything with just shapes. Right, right. Ah, love it, love it. So where can we contact you for more information? Well, you can go directly on my website. It's going to be anikduvivier.com. It's A-N-N-I-C-K-D-U-V-I-V-I-E-R. And um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I love your name, by the way. <laughs> thank you. She thank schooled you. me like for 30 seconds <laughs> on how to correctly pronounce her name. Duvivier? Yes. You, you can't got, mess you got, it up. Well, you got it now. Hey. <laughs> Thank you so much for spending time with us. You guys, make Thank sure you, you check her out and show her some love. She's pouring <laughs> back into our youth, so you got to show her love. Six and Sink will be back. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome.